Hey everyone, Dolphin Oracle back again here with my Antics installation with the Mate desktop, my Antics Net ISO installation with my Mate desktop. And I neglected to point out that this is Mate 1.16.1, just so you guys know. Okay, so I'm going to install some other things that are nice that have cropped up over the week that I found out that I needed. Um, and over here on my cheat sheet, you're going to see I have Antics Goodies Core, uh, which I think is actually already installed. Uh, this package here, libtxcdxtn-s2tc, what a name. This is a compression, this is a textures pack that you might need for, uh, for OpenGL uh, textures. Uh, and then a bunch of GStreamer stuff for, for uh, 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 media. And there's one other thing you got to do for your media. You need to initialize your sound, your, your sound card. We installed also utils, but we didn't initialize the sound hardware. So if I try to play a sound a, a music file right now, it's not going to work. So you got to do also uh, control also CTL init, and it will in initialize your hardware with a generic method. Okay, um, I'm not sure you have to do that on every piece of hardware, but I had to do that in VirtualBox. So anyway, VLC can play most things without without with its own libraries, but a lot of apps look for the GStreamer plugin. So I thought I'd go ahead and throw those in, and also some apps that I thought would be nice to install, so I could have a rounded out system. HTOP, GParted, LeafPad, VLC, GovCView. This is all going to be very particular to to you, but a few things you might want. I have made EOM. I found this hard to find in the. Uh, I didn't know what to call the thing. The Mate Image Viewer. It was hard to find as Synaptic, but I found out it's EOM. So that is their image viewer. Atrial is their document viewer. Plume is their text editor. And Kaha is the file manager. Now Kaha is installed, but there's, there's a whole bunch of extensions uh, that you can do. Uh, there's a Kaha like root thing. There's a Kaha open terminal. There's a send to menu and a share menu and uh, a thing to set wallpapers from the file manager. In Grappa... <laughs> I, I, these names, I'm telling you. And Grampa is the um, compression manager. And then, of course, out there went Firefox. And for Flash, I found that the Debian Stretch update uh, Flash plugin non free uh, doesn't work. It doesn't install Flash. So Antics has the Bunsen Pepper Flash and the Bowser plugin Fresh Player Pepper Flash for that reason. So I'm going to install those so I can have Flash and Firefox. If you don't want Flash, or if you're not going to use Firefox, or if you use Chrome, you don't need to worry with them. Chrome has its own Flash built in, and, you know, whatever. Again, personal preference. Uh, Live USB Maker GUI. The Live USB Maker is installed on the system um, already, but it's the command line version. So I, I'm going to throw the GUI version on. Uh, for whatever reason, I've also discovered that Live USB Maker does not work without EXT Linux, and that is not installed by default. So I'm going to install that. Um, also, I believe Sys Linux Common also has to be installed, which for some reason that note didn't make it to the sheet. Uh, an Annex installer, so I can have a graphical installer from my next trick, which is going to be making a bootable ISO from this mess. The Meta Package Installer for installing, uh, uh, you know, packages from outside the repos or just making some things easy. Google Chrome's in here if you're running 64-bit. Uh, SMXI, INXI, Antics. This is going to give me the INXI tool that's kind of cool for system information. And the SMXI tool, which is good for up, for installing uh, upstream latest and greatest uh, NVIDIA drivers. It's not so. I don't know if it works for the new M M AMD stuff yet, but it works okay for the NVIDIA. And then I'm also going to install LSB release because the Grub update tool, um, you haven't seen this reboot, but it, it says Debian rather than Antics. If I install LSB release, it'll pull some information from an LSB file and it will, uh, it'll, I can run update Grub, it'll say Antics now instead of, instead of Debian. I'm also going to install some theme stuff. Numix GTK theme and Fazy, Fianza Cupertino icons, which will also pull in the Fianza icons actually, just because I want to be able to have some uh, different customization options. So again, you can do all that from Synaptic, which is how I actually did it the first time, but it is easier to do it all from the terminal. So sudo apt get 
install. Now I've already done my update update. If it's been a while since you did this, do your do a sudo app get update and that'll refresh all the sources and then you can do the rest of it. So I'm going to install, let's see, this stuff. The media stuff and the htop stuff or the app stuff, my personal applications and the theme stuff. And you'll see that I got you got to watch for spaces sometimes with 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 these commands. There we go. When you're cutting and pasting. All right, and we're gonna fire that off. And there it goes. Now LibreOffice is in this download. So again, it's downloading a bunch of archives, and it's gonna take up another gig once it's done. So this is gonna take a while to do. And we'll pause the video, and we'll come back and show you everything that's installed. So here we are. Everything is installed and set up. So let's just make sure. So we go up to accessories. There's the archive manager. Uh, there's Pluma text editor. There's the search tool, graphics. We've got I have made image viewer. Internet, Firefox ESR. <laughs> Office, we've got LibreOffice in here. And I believe it's, yep, LibreOffice 5. Comes up rather speedily. Okay. Uh, system tools, we've got ISO snapshot htop is here. Ah, Xterm's not installed. Okay. Let's try. This is, that might be an, a dependency that we need to install. This is part of the uh, fun, quote unquote, of install, setting up your own setup. Yeah, running it directly from the terminal is fine, but the desktop app, the desktop entry requires a, a, uh, requires Xterm. Well, just so you know. So you can install Xterm if you want to. Uh, so, yes, there we go. Uh, that is all the apps that we set. Oh, preferences, let's see here. We've got uh, Gpart in, in there. And if we go into Kaha, you'll find we've got, uh, let's see. Actually, we may need to log in and log out for the Kaha extensions to take place. So let's try that. Let's log out. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and let's try that again. Yeah, so now we got some extra stuff. We've got the Send To menu. We've got Open in Terminal. We've got Compress and Sharing. We've got Open as Administrator. That's Open as Root. Uh, okay. So all that stuff has been added to Kaha's right-click menus. And it's a context-sensitive right-click menu, so it depends on what you click on. So there you go. That is a fairly full-functioning uh, Mate installation. In the next video, I'm going to take this and we'll customize it a little bit, and then I'm going to show you how to wrap all that up into a custom ISO snapshot. For tips, tricks, how-tos, head over to annex.mepis.org or throw up a post at forum.annex. Ah! at antics.freeforms.org. Lordy, Dio. This is Dolphin Oracle signing off. Have a great day.